I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night and welcome back to my channel. I'm just, it's always on the, ugh, jeebus. <laughs> hey there everybody! How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back as always, I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night and welcome back to my channel as always on Deluxe. Alright, let's do another action figure review. Yeah! So today, instead of Transformers, I'll be looking at Fortnite, I know, another Fortnite figure, Legendary Series Tomato Head. Ooh, nice box, I like it. Eight pieces, got 40 points of articulation. I like that setup, really nice. There you go. And then, up here. There you go, it's a Mario. Yeah. There's some other figures back down there you can get and everything. And there you go. All right, beautiful box. I like it, very nice. But, as always, do me a huge favor. Hit those likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me. It really helps out the channel and it doesn't cost a damn thing. Yeah. And you can hit that little bell. It will notify new content. You can hit follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. It's all in the description. It's easy peasy. It's so lemon squeezy. So like last time, like I said, I don't have a, any clue about what Fortnite figures are. I've never played the game. I don't have any you know, idea of what they are or what they're about and everything. So I did a little research. I did a little digging, a little digging, and I got some information for this guy. So let's take a look at it. Here we go. So, Tomato Head is an epic Fortnite outfit from the Pizza Pit set. It was released in April 22nd of 2018 and was last available 11 days ago. This can be purchased from the item shop for 1500 V-Bucks when listed. If you are looking for one of the most unique skins in the game, then you found it here in Tomato Head. The skin depicts which appears to be the mascot of the Tomato Town Pizza Restaurant. It has a giant smiling tomato for a head along with a bright teal tights and red pizza vest. The teal portions are also covered in what is either the blood of its enemies or tomato sauce. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Tomato Head Alternate Style is the first shop skin you have unblockable style. You have to complete three Tomato Head challenges to be able to use the alternate style. You only have to own the Tomato Head skin, you don't have to be wearing to complete the challenges. The challenges are play 25 matches, deal 5,000 damages to opponents, or gain 20,000 XP, which, you know, extra points. So I hope you like that little information about Tomato Head from Fortnite. Yeah! I love getting a new action figure. All right, let me get this fella out, check him out, see all what he's all about and everything, and I'll come back and I'll tell you what I think. Yeah. All right, here's Tomato Head from Fortnite, and the company that makes these, I didn't even mention at the beginning, was Jazzwares. So that's who made this. So there he is. So let's take a look at all the accessories it comes with, and he does come with quite a few. So he comes with a, a alternate head, and he's got like a crown of utensils. So you got some forks, some sporks, some knives and spoons and stuff. Pretty cool. It is a little softy, softer rubber, so you can bend them a little, but don't bend them too far. You will snap them and everything. And he's got some nice war paint, I think that's what it's called, on him. So he's got nice like, whitely paint right there. Whitely. Did I say whitely paint? Gee, but some white paint, you know, for like war paint, like he's going into war or battle or something like that. So pretty cool. Nice little alternate head. And he also comes with two of these, like, this is a little, um, I think I looked up, it's a potion kind of thing going on. It's got some nice paint to it, nice uh, darker purple, maybe a blue, and some nice shades of blue and lighter blue, and some silver. So he can drink it, I guess, and it gives him a, a, a shield or something, or a force, force field or something. I don't know. I uh, don't know much too about it, but it's got a little slit in there, and you can, um, it doesn't hold it up well. I mean, you have to kind of, you know, set it on his hand, you know, everything, but the fingers will go into that little slit right there. Uh, not too well. It's not too tight and everything. You have to really force it in there. But, and then he comes with a tomato that he can throw. I'll see done, got some green paint right there. And then once again, he's got a nice little slit right there. You can put the fingers in there, so. Not too good, but, you know, you can try to force it in there and it'll be pretty cool. So he comes with two guns. Very nicely done. Got some gun metal right there, paint for it and everything. Got the clip. Got a little band around there like that. That's painted also. So that's pretty cool. And then he comes with another weapon. And this don't have any paints, just uh, got some details in there. Nice little sculpt. Machine gun kind of thing going on. So pretty cool. He comes with his uh, backpack or back bling or something, what it's called. You know, it's a little pizza, little thing for his back, and it will go on the back of him and everything. Nicely sliced uh, pizza right there, painted right there like that. Got some nice details and some ruffles in the bag and everything. 
So pretty cool. And he comes with this is really cool. It's a little piece of slicer, a real nice long one. Nice, nicely painted silver. And it's got some probably cheese, maybe. It looks kind of like cheese or something like that. It does spin and everything. So pretty cool. So yeah, it does come with a lot of accessories, and that's really neat. So yeah, that's all the accessories for uh, Tomato Head from Fortnite. All right, so let's take a look at the figure itself, and this is Tomato Head. I mean, it's just goofy. The reason why I got it is just, just one of those characters just like, what the heck? So it looks like he's like has a helmet. I guess this is a Tomato Head helmet because it's you know it's got human a neck and everything, fingers and everything, so it might be a, a mask or something. But there you go with the smiling Tomato Head. Nice mustache. I love that. It's got the 80s porn mustache. That's awesome. Teeth. Painted on there, you got the white and the black for the eyes and everything. Not the best put it on. It's kind of sloppy a little bit, but it's not too terrible. And he's got the eyebrows and the green and everything. So looking, so he can look down quite a bit. This thing's really well, uh, really well articulated. Look up quite a bit also, all the way around, and you get a little attitude also. And you just pop up the head and you put that other one on. I'll show you in a little bit. Moving on down to the you know chest and the abdomen area. So this is white paint. It's eh, you know you still see a little red going through it so it couldn't use another coat and you got the pizza also right there that's pretty good moving on to the arms so you can move all the way up to there you got a nice little ratchet it's really tight be careful swivel right there swivel uh, bicep swivel also uh, awesome range of a uh, elbow right there and then uh, you can twist and it's got a hinge also for the hand and the fingers it's got a little hinge for the fingers too so you got your little booger picker, but right there, and you got the nice brown for the armband, uh, purple right there, purple for the collar and everything. So that's pretty good. All right, moving on down. So he does. Oh, he does have a uh, butterfly too. So that's pretty neat. I like that. Really well articulated. So he does have a white swivel, and he has this up here the for the abdomen right there. So he has two swivels right there, and you can do the little. I'm a little teapot a little bit. So you can go around. He's got a nice little ab crunch. And a back one too also. That's pretty cool. So yeah, he's got two. Nicely articulated out there. He's got the belt area. Nicely painted brown. Got a purple belt buckle. That's pretty good. Moving on down. He can do the Van Dam. And kick up. Uh, kick back a little bit. Not much. The little butt gets in his way. Thigh swivel. He's got some nice uh, either uh, tomato sauce or blood or whatever you want to call it. Nice straps right there. They're painted brown. So he does have a little boot cut also. Swivel right there. Very nicely done for the knee bend. I like that. Really good. Then you got the shin guards. And they're nicely painted. Got some pizza sauce or something or blood, whatever you want to call it. And then you got some nice straps. Some brown straps that are painted and everything. Got st straps around right there. Nicely detailed for the boots and everything. So you got toe tilt up, down, and then up. And then you got this toe tilt also, and you got a rocker too. So really well done, really well done articulation. Oh, you got the little band right here. It's soft plastic, it will move. And then you got the back, real quick. You got the little thing I'll show you. You put the little pizza thing. I'll show you everything in a second. And you got some pockets, got some nice details in there in the back. So really awesome. So yeah. See if I can get him to stand. It's kind of hard to stand a little bit. Yeah. Not going to stand for me, are you? Uh, boom. All right, well, that's the sculpt and articulation for Tomato Head from Fortnite. <laughs> All right, there is one holding one of the machine guns. Like I said, they're not, he doesn't hold the weapons real well, so that's a kind of a, a downfall for me on this one. All right, holding the other weapon. And there he is holding the tomato. Like I said, it's not really well put in there. You know, you can knock it off real easy. And same thing with the potion. You just take that slit and you try to force it into his fingers. And I guess you can hold it like that if you want to. So, pretty cool. And then, he got his backpack. Looks pretty cool. Well, it holds a little boxes of pizza. Like I said, he is kind of hard to stand up. And now that's going to be more back heavy for that. So, there you go. And there he is with his second head and holding up the pizza cutter and everything. So, pretty neat though. All right, talking about a weird looking pair, man. There's Omega. These other Fortnite figure I have, they just don't match at all. But yeah, they're both goofy looking, so it looks cool.
And there's a NECA Ultimate Michael Myers, a Mezco Jason, and a Storm Collectible Sub-Zero for scale reference. Crapagonic, some pepper spray, some crappy toilet paper I'm going to sell on eBay for $50, and Squeaks, scale doll. So let's talk about some Jazzwares Fortnite Tomato Head. So the only negative thing I really have to say is um, he doesn't hold the weapons real well, and he's kind of hard to stand up at times. He, You can get him to stand up, but it, it takes a little bit here and there to move the feet and everything around to get him to stand up just right. So, but yeah, the hands are kind of weird looking. They don't really hold the weapon, especially the tomato and the little potion thing. It is hard as hell to get them things just to hold in everything. So that's kind of negative everything. So, but other than that, I really like it. And I don't know very much about the character. I gave you a little inside of him, but you know, he's pretty cool. You know, he's a weird looking character. He kind of looks like maybe he would belong with the turtles or something. I think he'd be an awesome character for the turtles, but I don't collect turtles, but I thought it was pretty cool. Articulation is outstanding. He can get some really great poses. I really love everything about articulation with him. The sculpt is pretty cool. Like I say, he just looks weird. He's a tomato head, you know, but other than that, the sculpt looks pretty good. You know, the hardware feels really good. It's to feel like it's going to break anything. The paint is it's decent. You know, he does have some decent paint all over him and everything, but it's kind of sloppy in some areas, especially the white and the chest and everything. It could have maybe used a second coat, but overall, he's got some really nice paint, and I love that they painted the weapons. I love the accessories he come with. It's really cool, and they did paint them, and I love it when they do that, so really nice. I love the backpack, the bling, or whatever you call it and everything, but uh, all that's pretty cool. So overall, I really like this figure. It's fun. I really had a great time, especially taking pictures with him. I kind of wish he came with a stand like the other one Omega did. It would have been a lot better, but uh, I can always use that one too to if I want to. But, you know, I like this series. It's pretty neat. You know, I may get some more. Like I said, they're pretty, uh, overall, they're, they're fun. They're really fun to mess around with. And, you know, they got some good articulation. I love that. So I'm going to get on the floor. And I'm going to do some floor time. Why don't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. So yeah, once I said before, these are kind of some figures that I just pick up. I'm just walking around Walmart or Target. And, you know, I don't, you know, really collect this line, but I may start. They're really fun. I have a good time. And they got some really great articulation. I just wish his hands were a little better. I don't know, maybe they didn't give him the hinge with the hand and they just left it like that. You know, maybe it would have been a little better. But uh, it's not too terrible. He's got some really cool, you know, poses and everything. And he's a tomato head. I mean, come on, that's just weird. Do people like playing Fortnite? I know it's a really, really popular game. I think it's one of the most popular games out right now. Uh, but do uh, any of y'all like to play Fortnite? I haven't really ever played or anything like that. What y'all think, Chicken? What's up, Alpha Bravo? Man, what is that? Man, you just get some weird stuff, Deluxe. Is that, is he a tomato head? Yes, I am tomato head. I don't know how his voice sounds. <laughs> if he even has his voice where he talks. Hey, it's a Mario. You think he talks Italian or anything like that? What's up, man? I'm doing good. I heard that you can ride. Yeah, yeah. You want to ride me? Let's go. I've never had a tomato head on here with me. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh yeah. You didn't last eight seconds, but that's all right. I like you, tomato head. I mean, you can be friends. That's cool. What's your name? My name's Chicken. All right. I'll be seeing you around. Let's go. All right. Well, that was my review for the Fortnite tomato head like i said overall pretty cool you know he has some issues like i said we should be able to hold the guns a little better and the weapons especially the tomato and the little potion thing but other than that he's a really fun figure looks good a lot of details and all that stuff so so hit me up with some likes shares prayers and care bears go there and hit that sub button for me it doesn't cost a damn thing and it helps out the channel and i guess i'll see you on the next uh whenever i get a Fortnite figure review and as always be good to yourself hell hasbro and Fortnite. I guess. <laughs> yeah, uh, good night, folks. <laughs> Look at that. It's the Mario. The mustache from the 80s porn. All right.